Hello, everybody. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh, it's very good to be back. Hi, Brody. How's it going? Good to see you. <laughs> um, I have been gone a while, as you all know. I was in Vermont, which I know uh, some of y'all that watch are not in the States. Uh, Vermont is in the northeast corner of the United States. Cry, you probably know this because you're from Canada. Um, it's pretty close to Canada. Um, it was gorgeous. Um, ah, yes, yes, it was, JJ, thank you. Um, so yeah, Vermont was great. We were there for a wedding slash short trip. Um, it was really good. I was happy to kind of get back to work today, though, too, which was good. Um, just happy all around to be home. I kind of like my little bubble that I've <laughs> created in my life, you know, but, uh, Great to be back here, playing Platinum as well. Um, oh, highlight from the trip. Oh, goodness. Well, I officiated our friend's wedding, which was delightful. Um, and it went really well. I really liked the wedding. It was great. Um, but another one of my highlights was probably when we went with some friends. They have some, like, un developed land that they're going to build a house on, but they do have a couple like small uh, little cabins um, and we had like a bonfire out by one of their tiny cabins and we like grilled food and that was really, really cool. Very beautiful wilderness. Um, <laughs> how dare I have fun without you? I understand that completely. Um, but yeah, those are a couple of the highlights that, that stick out. I mean, I really had a great time just in general. But, ah, oh, thanks, JJ. Um, so, here we are. We are playing Platinum. And if you do not remember, um, we have our two permanent team members here. We have Autumn, the Grotal, and we have Breakfast, the Togepi with the Sooth Bell. Um, and we have Gilbert, Inclusion, Skitter, which we love. We also just picked up Pikachu, the Eevee, which I love. Um, and Eevee is going to be a part of our squad moving forward. But one thing I want to point out is if you look at the bottom screen, here we have Togepi. Let me see if I can pull her closer here. Ugh. As you can see, Togepi now has two little hearts above his head. So that means he is getting closer to being evol to evolving into Togetic. So I'm very excited about that, and hopefully that could happen today. Um, cause we grew a lot of levels, um, last time, and that really increased our friendship. Um, let's see what we're gonna do now. Alright. Do you have the experience share on? No, you have the suit belt, obviously. So I'll switch train with you a little bit. So here we are in Heart Home City. It could be Hearth Home, but I always say Heart Home. So here is the Amity Square. This is one thing that I want to point out. Um, this is a spot in the game where you can stroll with your Pokemon, kind of like outside of their Pokeball, but you can only go with, like, a cute Pokemon. Um, ah! And look, Grodel is following us. Oh, this is so cute! So it seems, uh, I thought that we were only going to be able to go here with our Eevee, because I know Eevee is a Pokemon you can stroll through Amity Square with. Um, but I guess your starter is another Pokemon you can stroll with as well, which is lovely. Well, let's pick up this item. Um, listen, I know so many people love Togekiss, which is the new evolution that Eevee gained in this generation, but I love the original. I love Togetic. Um, and, you know, that just makes me a... Gen 2. Ooh! Very cool. I actually didn't even know what these did. I thought this was like a structure I could walk into, but it teleported me over there. How lovely. Um, okay, so I gotta find a way to get to that guy. There we go. I'm like, where's my speed up? Um, let's see. Oh, Hustle or Serene Grace? I don't know. I will look in a second. Um, so that'll take us back to where we came from over there. 
All right, so it looks like there might be other parts of Amity Square we can explore with maybe some HMs um, that I'm not really thinking about here. Uh, but very cool. So that's Amity Square. It's just a cute little thing you can do. Um, pretty much just for fun. We, we picked up a couple TMs. We got Attract and Secret Power. They're not super likely to use them, but that's okay. And going for a stroll lets uh, Togepi pick up a few more of those um, friendship points. Mm. But yes, now that I have my menu back, I will look at breakfast. Breakfast has Serene Grace. Um, boosts the likelihood of added effects appearing. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's like, let's say you use Body Slam and you can paralyze an opponent with Body Slam. It makes it more likely that Body Slam will give you that paralysis that you're looking for. Um, which is super cool. Love to see that. Um, all right. So he here we have this guy and he's sitting in front of the gym. How's it going? You being here tells me you're going to challenge the gym leader. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> the answer is she's not here. Um, all right. So she is at the contest hall, um, the gym leader here. So this wants us to go. No, that's Amity Square as well. They want us to go up here to the contest hall. So this is actually pretty interesting. Ah. Because here is that girl that we saw earlier. We stopped her Meryl from running away. I think her Meryl. Stopped one of her Pokemon from running away. Anyway, our mom is here. She is actually like a famous Pokemon contest person, um, which is really great. They gave uh, your mom an actual little character arc in this game, which I, which I like. Um, so she is like an expert on contests, and it looks like maybe my keyboard just went out um bear with me there we go um yeah she is an expert on contests and she is gonna kind of like introduce us to contests i'm probably not gonna do contests in this playthrough if i'm gonna be honest i know a lot of people probably don't maybe we'll come back and do something fun with it because honestly i have never really done anything with them ever, at least in Generation 4. Um, uh, I, uh, I got bored, so I came out to Heart Home, which, hold on, all my people in the chat and watching later in the comments, tell me, do you say Heart Home or Hearth Home? I always say Heart Home, but I guess it could be Hearth Home as well. I don't know. Anyway, um, so our mom is telling us all about... Um, contest and she gives us a tuxedo to give us a little glamour as she says um excuse me see ya mom let's see ancient power air slash flamethrower and yawn is the move set for togekiss that's not bad brody that's not bad so here is the lady we were looking for her name is fantina um, ah, we oui, contests are you here for? I hope very much you enjoy them. So Fantina is like pseudo French <laughs> in this game. Um, and she's also the gym leader in Hard Home City. Um, she's great. She's a ghost type trainer. I really like her. I really like her design. I think it's really cool. Um, and there's a few things we can point out when we see her sprite uh, closer up later. But Fantina is great. So basically, they have her hanging out here at the contest hall um, to just incentivize you to at least enter the building, you know? Just be like, here's where contests are. We know you're probably not going to do them, but uh, maybe you will if you enter the building. Uh, let's see. You say heart home? Thanks, Brody. Thanks for the validation. Um, all right, so we are going to pop over here. And as you can see, she is back at the gym, and we are gonna do some work. Um, unfortunately, Pikachu the Eevee is not really um, able to contribute currently, um, just because it doesn't have any moves that can hit ghosts. Um, we could get something going. Thief, maybe? Um, this could work. Does Eevee learn Thief? Does not learn Thief. That's all right. Um, so Eevee will kind of take a backseat here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and save. There we go. Ba -do -do -do. All right, there we go. Let's go in here. So I'm gonna do my best to switch train Togepi a little bit more. This gym is some kind of wicked. Oh, they changed the gym puzzle in this game and they make it so much better. Oh, so much better in Platinum than Diamond and Pearl. Um, so basically you have to shine your flashlight in these little rooms to find out what door you have to go into. Oh, hi, Loctess, hello. Ah, we're looking in the blue tile. Um, uh, that reminds me of the Battle Pyramid. Oh, that is great. Um, Pokemon Emerald Memories. All right, so in Diamond and Pearl, you just answer trivia questions in this gym. It's really stupid, doesn't make any sense. But here in Platinum, you go in this cool dark room with all these duskulls with their eyes glowing red and you gotta look for the right pattern on the floor. As you can see, it's a triangle right there. And you have to find the triangle door to walk through. It is so cool, I love this gym. And there's that triangle, and we're gonna fight this first trainer here. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine at math, but it just didn't make much sense to me. All right, so what we're gonna have to do with breakfast here is we gotta switch out immediately because we do not wanna get caught in a mean look or something. Ah, uh, okay, New if we get a Pikachu, we name it Eevee, that's fair. All right, so here is Mistrevis, or Mistrevis, however you say it. Um, oh, that's actually going to help us a little bit. Um, if you don't remember Mistrevis from Generation 2, don't worry, it doesn't show up. It is a Generation 2 Pokemon, but it is barely there. Um, it is only at Mount Silver at the end of the game. No major trainers have it. It's another one of those famous Generation 2 Pokemon that you never see. All right. Come on. Um, I am doing another run of a Crystal ROM hack where you have got to be kidding me. Okay, that was like four times in a row. Ugh. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. All right. All right, Skitter. Hit that spark. Thank you. My lord. Um, Brody, I don't know if you're joking, honestly. Mistrevis is Gen 2. Um, and it's... That's how bad it is, is because I don't know that you're joking. Um, all right, so now we got to go back. We got to heal the squad really quick because we really am going to need, are going to need Grotal if we want to be able to beat the trainers in this year gym more consistently. And I don't want to like waste a revive or anything. You know what I'm saying? So this could be pretty tough for us. I actually want to see what happens if we try to hop out here, because I know there's gonna be an event that triggers when you leave the town. So I'm gonna save just in case. All right, so, you were joking, okay, good. <laughs> but dude, that's how bad it is. All right, all right, yes, these people are blocking the way. Oh, they found an egg at Selassian Town. Ah, okay, so they're talking about eggs. Um, if you leave a pair of Pokemon with daycare, so this guy tells us about the daycare. Oh, his pal is Professor Elm. Oh, I love that. It says he was the quiet type that didn't really stand out. I'm like, you shut your mouth, dude. I love Professor Elm. Um, hello, Cry. Thank you so much. I was close to you. I was in Vermont. I don't know if you heard me say that. Um, let's see. All right, let's pop back in here. We'll do some switch training once again. Ah, so it looks like when you leave, it actually changes. So it was over here, but now our tile is right over here. It's still triangle, though. Um, 
Wow, I just had a real medley going on there. So Ghastly's really the one that could get us with this mean look. So let's just get the get the heck out of here. <laughs> a Silver Cave face reveal? <laughs> Is this not good enough for you? <laughs> um I wish I had I, I wish I had that card left to play, you know? All right, I was about to say, we need to make sure our confusion luck is not as horrific as it's been. Oh, and right back to it. There we go. Um, excuse. Oh, dude, yes, Mom. Um, I was asking you this earlier. I say heart home, but I know other people say hearth home. Um, excuse me, I'm almost bourbon. Um, so here's a Pokemon I don't think we've seen yet. This is Drifloon. Oh, it is a ghostly little balloon uh, Pokemon. It is a ghost flying type. Really, really cool. I like it a lot. I considered using it for our playthrough, but I really wanted to use the Togepi egg. Um, and I've never really done it before. I have used Drifloon before. Um, but acquiring Drifloon is really cool and really interesting. And I will show you guys that. I plan on showing that to you guys um, at another at an, on another stream. You do Hearth Home. Um, yeah, Toga Kisses Peak. Oh! And Drifloon has a very interesting ability called Aftermath that will do damage to you when you defeat it. So we are very lucky that we did not die. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, let's just pop a super potion. I'll buy some more potions here soon. All right, so here we have the triangle, and here is the triangle up here. So we'll go through this door. Perfect, and now we get to a bigger room with more trainers. Um, four in here, I think. I'm pretty sure this is the only other room that we have to make our way through. I'm gonna save the game just for now. There we go. Now I still don't know where that blue tile is. Again, I feel like I'm in the battle pyramid. Um, but yeah, Togekiss, great. Very excited to use it. It'll be super, super duper fun. Hmm. Drifloon once again. Um, the only issue here, there we go, is uh, Grodal. Most of the Pokemon we're going to see are going to be like Drifloons or like Gastlys and Haunters. And unfortunately, both of those have secondary types that are, uh, that make Grodal a little ineffective. Because Drifloon's got Flying type and Ghastly Haunter have Poison. Of course. Um... Oh, is that a question that they ask? Or are you just being silly? Six minus six minus six. Oh, I see. So six minus six in parentheses is zero. And then you do all of those and then multiply. So that's zero. I'm pretty sure it's zero. <laughs> Ah, nice. So breakfast just grew another level, so it's going to get more friendship points for us. Encore could really come in handy. Um, but I do like breakfast set right now, because having sleep, lowering attack is also really nice. Um, but maybe I can get rid of charm for now. You know what? I think I will. We're not going to have Charm in the final move set anyway, and even against Fantina, lowering attack isn't going to be too terribly useful for us. So we'll get rid of Charm. There we go. Mm. Another <laughs> Metronome Explosion Self-Destruct Memento. Hey, that's still pretty good. Um, let's get Breakfast back in here. We'll swap train again for another Drifloon. Yes, 
they buff stockpile a little bit in this game to raise those defenses because as you can see now sparks not quite a two shot um, but then when they do you swallow there you lose the effects of it so now it kills again oh baby breakfast is evolving oh that's great that is earlier than I thought wow Yes! Oh, so good! I love Togetic. Again, I just want to say my hot take. I like Togetic more than Togekiss. I know that's a really spicy take, but I really love it. And I'm a Gen 2 just fanboy, so what can you do? Um, now he can do work. Um, so I'm gonna take that Soothe Bell off, because you do not need your friendship any longer. Again, the only issue is, um, don't really have any attacking moves. We can use metronome though. So let's have a nice metronome fight. That'll be fun. But I'll go ahead and save just cause we got our Togetic now. Um, all right, let's get all these trainers. Ooh. All right, let's see what I can do here. Oh boy. Um, immediately metronome explosions. I would not be surprised. So this Haunter, I don't know if it's going to be able to hurt us outside of maybe like a Confuse Ray or a Curse. So there's the Curse. Um... So there's that curse, that curse nail. Um, I am actually going to swap out here, though, just because um, I don't want to get curse damage. All right. Aha! Sucker Punch. Um, that is an interesting Generation 4 move. Oh, come on. The one-turn sleep? Um, Sucker Punch is a move that only does damage when... Um, your opponent is going to attack. Um, so let's say, uh, instead of swapping into inclusion, I used wing attack. Sucker Punch would hit first, but if I wanted to use, like, a status move, like Yawn or something, Sucker Punch would not hit at all. Um, it has to be a move that does damage. Um, alright, so it looks like Mistrevious might not have anything. Oh, no, it has Psybeam. I spoke too soon. There we go. All right, so we got it confused. We got it asleep. Let's see what we can do with Metronome. Let's have some fun here. Um, facade. Oh, that would have been really good, but it doesn't affect Mistrevious. Uh, let's see. Is it canon that breakfast is the McDonald breakfast? Hey, Brody, if you want breakfast to be a beautiful Egg McMuffin, that is your prerogative, my friend. Rock Smash! Metronome picked two moves that do not hit. I mean, I guess it's my fault for using Metronome, but I'm just trying to have fun over here. Wish! Oh, we're gonna get HP back. Very cool. Alright, let's see. Still asleep. Brave Bird! Whoa! Very cool, and it was stabbed because we're part flying, even though it didn't really do anything. <laughs> Um, all right, I really hope that confusion does some work. Is it working so far? Ah, dang it with pain split. All right, let's keep rolling. We got three more metronomes left. Gosh, we just keep using sacred fire. Oh, I'm sad that I sped through that. <laughs> um... I'm gonna use a potion just because the um, the burn will eventually kill it. Um, yeah, Brave Bird into the Wish Heal was a pretty was a pretty pro play if I'm being honest. Um, that was so much fun. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> uh, it was so fun. I don't want to do it again. 
Um, all right, so let's see. And the good news is I can level up Togetic as much as I want. Who also, I'll take it off of this friendship checker because I just like to have it on that. Um, I can level up Togetic as much as I want just because I'm not going to miss any moves um, by evolving it later or earlier into uh, Togekiss. Um, let's see, I think there's two more trainers in here. Um, because Togekiss does not learn any moves via level up, I will have to use heart scales to get it to learn some of the great moves that it does learn. Excuse me. Oh, hello! Pody Pody. Um, thank you for following. Um, let's see. Let's put Ghastly to sleep. And there's that curse again. How's it going? Thanks for being here. Um, all right. So let's... Ghastly's going to go to go Betty Bye. So we're going to get inclusion in here. Um... Thank you for thank you for being here. Um, I ask this all the time to people that come into the Pokemon streams. What was your first Pokemon game? If you don't mind me asking. Or maybe you don't like Pokemon at all. Maybe you just stumbled upon us and wanted to say hi. Pokemon Platinum, hey! Oh, that's so crazy that that was your first Pokemon game. I mean, everybody has a first Pokemon game, but you know, mine was yellow. Because I'm old. Um, but also lucky you, because I will say, Pokemon Platinum, anyone can really make the case that it is among the best Pokemon games. Uh, we'll keep inclusion in here. We'll just rock this wing attack. Um, oh, Lucario and Luxray are your top two favorite Pokemon and always will be. I feel that so hard. Um, because being such a Gen 2 fanboy, um, I've got my boy Lugia here. Lugia is my favorite Pokemon now and forever. Um, uh, but a lot of my other favorite Pokemon are also Gen 2. Um, Ampharos, uh, Smeargle, you know. Um, oh, give breakfast Grass Knot for now. That's actually a good idea. I did not realize that it could learn it. Um... And yeah, it's not like we're gonna teach it to Grodel, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Let's look at Togetic's um, move set because I'm pretty sure that it has Magical Leaf as a ooh Hunter. Yes, it has mag Magical Leaf as an Egg move or like as a level one move. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, dude. I can, I can give, I can give, uh, Togetic Magical Leaf. Or not Magical Leaf. You know what I'm saying? Grass Knot. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Hunter. We're gonna swap. Um... I might let breakfast cook here and just try to get a yawn off. Oh, I don't have to worry about breakfast dying anymore, though. Oh, and now I can't escape, so that's terrible. Um, so something we're going to have to do here is... Oh, man, things could get really, uh, really struggly here before we know it. Um... Oh, spite. So that did nothing. And now I can't swap. Um, ah. You know, <laughs> I knew I couldn't swap, but I just want... Stop. But I just want to give it a try. Um, we'll use Encore. Alright. Good news is, most of the moves that we've got here, we can kind of run through quick. Um... Oh, do maybe I do have a Lepa Berry. Good idea. Um, uh, HP. I do not have a Lepa Berry. I have not encountered them yet. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. So either I'm gonna die of curse damage.
I know. Unfortunate. Sorry, breakfast. My bad, dude. Um, we'll let Autumn take this out. Do, 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 do. And I will say, I feel like Grass Knot would have done the least amount of damage possible against a Haunter or a Ghastly. <laughs> because they weigh nothing. Oh, I have Bite. I could have just used that. I forgot I had Bite. That'll actually come in great handy. Um, uh, because they weigh nothing and they resist it. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's see here. Perfect. Okay, I know there's one more trainer over there. I am annoyed because I gotta pop back down here. Let's heal the squad. Um, do you remember your first team, um, Hori Pori? I'm trying to remember what my first team. I didn't. I didn't start with Diamond. I like I said, I'm an OG, so I. Uh, have been there since the beginning. I got Diamond and Pearl. Um, let's see. I don't want to do Togetic. Uh, let's do Skitter. There we go. Um, I believe my first... I, I started with Turtwig um, the first time I ever played Gen 4. Um, I'm pretty sure... Ooh, an X Defend. Interesting. Um... I know I had a Torterra. I know I had a Luxray. I'm almost positive I used Golem, uh, of all things. And I remember I taught my Golem Fire Blast because there were no Fire-type Pokemon to use in Diamond and Pearl, famously. Um, so that's funny. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Empoleon, Luxray, Lucario, Dragonite, Roserade, Staraptor. Whoa, that is a squad right there. Our squad is going to be definitely worse, <laughs> definitely weirder. Um, I always want, I want to use something balanced, but it's still kind of like a fun hodgepodge. Um, excuse me. Ah, Dragonite was always switched out with whatever pseudo legendary I had, I see. Um, <laughs> let's see, ooh, we got the moon. So let's see. There is the moon on the ground, so now we have to find the door with the moon. There's a heart. There's a star. There's the moon. And here is Fantina. Her room is a little nondescript, but that's okay. Let's make sure we heal up good old Skitter. She's not a potion. I don't remember what she starts with. Oh, no, I actually do. Never mind. Um, we're going to start with breakfast. I'm going to see what breakfast can do against her lead. Um, uh, yeah, Grass Knot just won't do anything against ghosts. They don't weigh anything. Grass Knot is like grass-type low kick, essentially. I've explained that before, I think. But um, Yes, Brody, I was actually about to point that out. Um, ah, yes, Luxio would be great for this gym with Bite and Spark. That's awesome. Okay, so let's do this. Haha, -ha. does a little spin. Oh, ho, 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 ho. finally you have arrived. Since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. They hold contests in this city. I say to myself, enfin, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Uh, c'est uh, une performance. Sorry. Um, also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. And so it shall be that you challenge me, but I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, no? How cute. So here's Fantina. I love Fantina. She is great. Um, I love her dress. As Brody pointed out, that little X, that little yellow X on her dress is based on the face of a Drifloon, which is super cool. Really nice little detail. I love those little Pokemon wardrobe details they like to put in. Um, all right, so I'm going to try to do my patented strategy of Yawn Sweet Kiss Metronome on this Duskull. 
Uh, we do have Bidoof for a free swap. We have a couple free swaps. Um, so we'll see what Breakfast can do. I think we can do a pretty good job. I'm, I, I'm confident we can knock out Duskull with Breakfast as long as we don't get horrible luck. <laughs> um, catching a Will-O-Wisp there isn't ideal. Um, Alright, let's see what we got. What we got with Metronome? Give me a move that'll affect it. Hyper Fang, that is the exact opposite of what I wanted. Oh, yes. That's more like it. That is more like it. Um, for a Thunder, that did not that much damage, but we'll see what we can keep doing. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm loving this. There we go. Come on. All right, hurt yourself in confusion. Let's go. Dang it, man. All right, we can do this. Ah, super potion. Dang it. Mm. Yeah, my attack is halved. You are absolutely correct. I might swap breakfast. Um, or, I mean, I'll definitely use yawn here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, okay, good. Let's see, I like, we'll go with Skitter here. Yeah. Ah, the Pursuit, dang it. Ah, oh, I knew you had Pursuit too. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, Breakfast. Um, I know, we got some really nice, uh... oh, and Skitter has Charm, so I still have Charm on the squad. Um, so not going great so far. We did get rid of her first super potion, so I'll take that for now. Um, Spark's not doing a ton of damage. Duskull's pretty defensively bulky, it seems. Not, not too much, though. Got some good sleep luck. All right, let's see. Miss Magius. So this is a new evolution for Generation 4 um, of Mischievous. I love its little cry. It has that cool little witch hat. It's really freaky looking. I like this Pokemon a lot. It is the classic ace of Fantina. Also, another fun fact about Fantina is that in the original Diamond and Pearl games, you fight her as the fifth gym leader. You kind of have to come back around to her. But in Platinum here, she is the third gym leader, which I think makes more sense. And why Platinum, obviously, everyone knows this, is better. Um, this is the hard part, Brody. You are very correct, which is why I am trying to hopefully get a Spark Paralysis. I can probably only live one. Oh, I can live two Shadow Balls. Let's see. I would love to be able to paralyze this thing with uh, one of the two Sparks I'm going to be able to get off. So we didn't that time. I'm praying for the second one here. Come on. Let's see. That's why I stayed in with Skitter. Oh, nice crit. How about a paralysis while we're at it? I think it would have happened already before the berry. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'm actually going to swap into Gilbert. does not affect Gilbert, but this Pokemon does have contingencies for that. Yes, it has Psybeam. I think it might also have Magical Leaf, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Um, so here, let's see what we can do with Grodel. I'm hoping I will be able to live more than one Shadow Ball. Hate Confuse Ray. You always hate to see Confuse Ray. That's never good. Um, all right, we snapped out quick. Um, let's see. Um, yes. We are going to sack Pikachu. And this will tell you a lot. This will tell you. Ah, dang it. I forgot about the Super Potion. I thought that since she used her berry, she might not use a super potion, but what can you do? Um, 
the fact that I was willing to sack off Evie here will really tell you that we are not trying to get Espeon or Umbreon. That would... I, I would really hate myself if I tried to do two friendship evolutions at once. Um, okay, that's her last potion. Thank you. Um, well, I healed the squad. There's that magical leaf I talked about. So I guess even if I was able to hit that... Um, whatchamacallit. Um, do, 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 do. Sand attack. <laughs> Sorry, I could not speak for a second. Um, even if I could have hit that sand attack, I would not have been able to negate the accuracy of Magical Leaf. Um, yeah, that is a great moveset. Um, gosh dang it with the confusion, man. Um... So we really only have one shot here at paralyzing this Magius again. And we hurt ourselves again for the second straight time. Okay. So now that is unfortunate. Grodel was right on right on the cusp for a two-shot. Um, oh, crit is unfortunate. If I'm not mistaken... Okay, okay. We got some ridiculous luck on that. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna take two. Um, yes. All right. Oh yes, here's our little journal when you re when you re uh, boot up the game. There we go. So now we're back here, and also I'm gonna save breakfast um, because breakfast is gonna be able to wall Miss Magius surprisingly well. So I'm gonna try to deal with um, Duskull in a different way. I'm gonna start with um, inclusion here. Oh, does a Bidoof evolve at 15? I thought it evolved at 18. Am I wrong? Um, yeah, we'll go with Inclusion. Um, I think her last Pokemon, Horipori, is um, Haunter. All right, let's try. Let's try this configuration um, because we can put that Miss Magius to sleep um, because all of its attacking moves. It's two big attacking moves, Magic, Magical Leaf and Shadow Ball, are going to be um, walled pretty well by Togetic. It can obviously still use Confuse Ray and um, Psybeam, but we might we might be able to get it into an unfavorable situation. Um, and we outspeed here. Um, oh, where do you get the Quick Claw in Jubilife City? If you don't mind helping me out. So our attack is halved here. Yeah, so we don't take it out. Um, so I actually don't hate this. It's going to be able to use one of her super potions. Um, let's see... Ah, the Quick Claw is in Jubilife City. I did not remember that. Uh, all right, so this thing has Pursuit. Um, let's see. It's in the Trainer School? Um, hmm, what do I want to do here? I like, I like Autumn here. Because Autumn's not going to be terribly useful against Miss Magius because that Shadow Ball is a two-shot. Oh, I would have loved to see that kill. Gosh, I would have loved to see that kill. Um, I might have a Burn Heal or something somewhere. Alright, Duskull down. Really, really loves to kill us with that, uh, with that Will-O-Wisp. Um... All right, so here's that Miss Magius again. I'm gonna try my breakfast 
my breakfast combo here. Confuse Ray, traditionally. We are getting destroyed by Confusion Luck. Um, I think we could have won the last round if we did not get destroyed by Confusion Luck. Um, <laughs> yes. Oh, you were thinking of Emerald. Yeah, 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 I got you. Um, great. Just freaking peachy, man. Gosh, that's so dumb. Um, all right. And now Grodel's burned. Let's see. I'm gonna have to make some pro plays here. Because one thing I might have done differently was not use Grodel against the, whatchamacallit, the Duskull. So that way, there we go. There we go. Um, I was, I was going to say, not use Grodel against the Duskull, so that way, great. There's that paralysis I was kind of hoping for. Um, ah, yes. Let's look and see if we can burn this, uh, heal this burn, rather. We do not have a full heal or anything, but we do have an old Gateau, just one, and that can heal any status. So that's going to let us heal this burn off of Autumn. That's great. All right, so now we're going to... I'm going to get a free swap into Gilbert. Perfect. Now let's let Grodel uh, get all healed. Love that. Um, let's see... Ah, yes, that would be good with Grodel. You're absolutely right about that. Um, that might be worth the trip back to Jubilife if we cannot, uh, pull this out. But, with the paralysis here, we should... Okay, yeah, we can hit first now, and maybe get a flinch? No, but that's okay. We do have the super potion. Um, but now I think we can two-shot. And hopefully get a flinch. There we go! Perfect. Everybody chipped in there. Breakfast goes to 21. Love to see it. All right. So now we have Haunter coming in. We only have a few Pokemon that can do damage. Um... Um, we're gonna do this. I don't know if it has mean look. My sincere hope is I can get this yawn off, and then we can go into Grodel um, when it's asleep and just bite it to death. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to swap into Skitter here in case it uses a mean look or something. All right, Confuse Ray, I will take that. I will take that. Perfect. We have kind of a not optimal team at the moment, and I kind of love it. Um, especially for this fight. There's kind of a lot of finagling we've had to do. All right. So now that Haunter's asleep, I'm hoping it can just stay asleep so we can bite him to death. Bite her to death, rather. All right, one more should do it. She just, uh. <sighs> How unfortunate. How unfortunate. I do not know if this thing uh, has Dream Eater. I do have three Awakenings. Let's see what it's going to try to do. Or if it was just trying to put me to sleep for the annoyance. There we go. All right. I can do this all day, Haunter. Ooh. No crit? All right. We're good. Oh. 
There we go. Good fight, folks. Very fun. It's, it's always fun when it's a challenge. Oh, thanks, Horipori! Appreciate you. You are so fantastically strong, I know now why I have lost. You should. You should, Fantina. I am dumbfounded! Hmm. Ooh, she gives us the relic badge. We can have a look at that real soon. Um, ah, yes, it lets us use the hidden move Defog out of battle which we have not encountered yet in any of our playthroughs thus far. It's new for Generation 4, as is Shadow Claw. It is basically the ghost-type version of Slash, the Shadow Claw, um, which is really cool. Um, all right, so I'm thinking we're going to heal the squad, of course, and I'm thinking we have one more thing we can do this stream. We should have time. Oh, this has been so much fun to get back to. All right. So now, as you can see, those people are now gone. Um, let's save you. We're going to have that, so I will have you back there. Um, I don't know what they start with, so I'll start with breakfast. As you can see, I'm planning for a fight. All right, if I'm not mistaken, this guy, does he give you an egg? No, he does not give you an egg. For some reason, I thought he gave you an egg. All right, so once we pop through here, we have our next rival battle with our good friend GCG. Um, all right, so he really ambushes, ambushes you here in this little building. No whining, no waiting, let's get this show started. All right, so this should be a good one. He's got four Pokemon. It starts with Staravia, okay. So breakfast is not gonna be terribly useful here, but we can put Staravia to sleep, which I would love. Um, there we go, we got the on off. Um, if we pop into Skitter here, should eat a wing attack fairly well. And we do. Perfect play. Um, I really like our rival in this game. He, there are some, some fights with him that are pretty good. This one is always like a pretty decent challenge. Um, I know whenever I watch like solo runs in this game where they'll try to beat the game with one Pokemon. There are always some rival battles that are big um, brick walls for them. Um, there is one rival battle in this game in particular that I really, really love and I can't wait for. Um, so here we have Buizel. Skitter is going to be great, as would Autumn. Um, let's see what Pikachu can do, though. I think we only really have Tackle right now, but that's all right. We have a lot of kind of escape hatches here, so let's... Yeah, it's just tackle. All right. Doing more than water gun. Yeah, we should live. Oh, one HP! Pikachu the Eevee! Getting your first victory. All right. Monferno, here is the evolution of Chimchar. This is what I have been saving inclusion for in this fight. Go, Pikachu! That's right, Cry. Because Chimchar, when it evolves into Monferno, this uh, lovable little chimp-looking Pokemon here, um, it becomes a fighting type, um, which is kind of a point of contention. Um... Not yet at this point in the franchise, but it was weird that they decided to make the fire starter fire fighting twice in a row. Um, but those two, uh, Chimchar and Torchic, are both pretty well liked. And here's Flame Wheel, which is a great Generation 2 move. But with Staravia's, um, whatchamacallit, Intimidate on Monferno, that weakened its attack power. So we live easily, and we can take it out. Things are looking peachy keen right now. Whirlwind. Whirlwind is good, but I don't really want it. 
I'm pretty good. Pretty good with that whirlwind. And now we have Roselia. Inclusion would be good again, but I'm gonna see what we can do with breakfast. Um, one, just for fun, and two, because it needs a little experience. Um, all right. We're gonna kind of do some stall strats here. Let's get it confused, there we go. Let's try these metronomes. Soft boiled. I mean, that'll heal us anyway. Oh my goodness. Ah, with a leech seed, we gotta swap. We gotta swap with leech seed. It's always just so annoying. All right. Oh, baby, a one shot from inclusion. Um. Staravia is really good. I am going to be sad to see see her go, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, great! Lovely little victory against our rival. Goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. I mean, it's not a surefire winning strategy then yet, friend. Um, Alright, make sure you're, all your attacks hit and you avoid all enemy attacks. That's a pretty good strategy, I must say. Alright, so he's off to Celossian Town which is going to be a really good spot for us as well. Um, first thing, though, I'm going to go ahead and heal up the squad here. Wow, this game really does run slowly sometimes because I've got speed up going. And it's still barely faster. All right. Lovely. All right, so we have this delightful music and here on Route 209. Um, but we're closing in on an hour, folks, and I'm feeling pretty good about what we've accomplished. We were able to have a nice walk through Amity Square. We were able to defeat Fantina, defeat our rival, um, and kind of get our playthrough back on track after I've been uh, after I've been gone a while. Um, it's really, really great to be back. I always appreciate you all um, stopping in. Um, right now, the plan is to go again on Friday. Um, excuse me. And I'll be able to show you all something special that uh, then. And we'll be able to continue on to Selassie in town and uh, keep, the ball, keep the ball rolling. But uh, until then, folks, I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your week. Um, I will see you all later with more Platinum on Friday. And I will go ahead and say this here at the end. If you are watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I don't say that very often, but uh, I would appreciate if you did. So, how about that? Anyway, thank you. Thank you, Hori Pori. Thank you for being here, Hori Pori. I really appreciate that. Yes, thank you, Cry. Thank you, Brody. Thank you, everyone. Peace, kids.